The subject of the campaign was making our environment clean again. This is something that has become a problem over time because our sanitation has degraded so much in the country. And so since it degrade, degraded over time, we believe that we could plant a seed that would help people to also solve it over time. Hence, making our environment clean again. It's progressive. You know, um, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a step. So that's why we chose this topic. The campaign took place in Accra, which is the capital of Ghana, and the suburb of Accra called Medina. It has a very highly populated um, market. We also did one at uh, the West African Senior High School. And we reached 800 people. In general, the campaign was fantastic. It was amazing. Even the preparatory process, it was a whole learning process for us. We had different people coming on board to help us with this campaign. I was glad to be even part of this great experience. As compared to other mechanisms, um, with street campaign, you don't need to invite people to sit for a forum and then tell them the message and then they leave and probably forget. Looking at the process of street campaigning, there is attracting attention, there is theater, and communicators also talk to the people. And so when you look at the whole process, you realize that it stimulates the minds of the people. You realize that um, it leaves a lasting memory. So even after the campaign, they go remembering something, they go um, actually getting the message. And it's also very easy for them to also pass it on to their family and relatives as well as their friends. So I think street campaigning is very important and then um, other people can also employ this to educate the public. I think this was the most receptive campaign we have had so far. It's been amazing how our volunteers have worked tirelessly. They came from different sectors, from the media, from the educational sector, and they are all carrying the message into their communities. Coincidentally, our key partners they recently launched their brand using the slogan, Trash is Cash, which is a slogan that evolved out of our campaign. And we have a former president of this country being a champion of a grandeur product. We believe that with these partnerships, there is so much that we can achieve in terms of cleaning this country. So people, friends, organizations, let us join forces and make our environments clean again. Right. We are all involved. We are all involved. I say we are all involved. We are all involved. Everybody, 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 clean your gutters, sweep your homes. Let's make Ghana clean again. We are all involved. 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 Everybody, 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 clean your gutters. Our next campaign is coming up. It's going to be big, so yeah. watch out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our campaign was about uh, wasteful consumption, uh, and we are focused on uh, wasting and reusing the plastic because we did a uh, we did a survey in Etiak, It's a place in Hungary, and we organized our event, our street campaign in this city next to the capital. 
Uh, well, um, we did a survey uh, in the in the residents of this uh, city, and uh, we um, conclude that uh, they are interested more in this uh, wasteful consumption and uh, the plastic uh, the plastic topic. Uh, so well, uh, it was uh, there uh, organized a picnic. It uh, it was a wide range event, and uh, there were uh, 1,500 people registered there, and uh, we could reach uh, 700 people uh, during our campaign. It's perfect when we um, can find the right place and the right timing, uh, because we could reach uh, more and more people uh, during this uh, organized event, and uh, they want to. Um, to spend their free time there with their families and uh, they were so open to our questions, to our games and uh, for everything what we needed. Uh, during our campaign uh, we were talking about wasting uh, a lot of plastic and uh, we suggested them to reuse them, to recycle them because it's important to our planet to not waste uh, a lot of plastic and uh, we can say that uh, they they agreed with us and uh, in Hungary it exists that they are, they are collecting the, the, the trash uh, separately. I mean they are collecting different the plastic, the glass and, uh, and everything in different. Uh, I think street campaigning is uh, really important because uh, we can um, uh, raise the awareness of people and uh, we can maybe influence on them to change their behavior about, uh, about important uh, things. And, um, it is a good uh, opportunity to uh, attract them, to uh, invite them to join us and to see more uh, details about uh, the important topic. Um, the topic we chose to do in Nigeria was raising awareness for the use of plastic. And the reason being that uh, we noticed that um, plastic waste has become the major problem all over the country in Nigeria. So we chose a particular location which is the market where we have more impact with the people that are coming, walking around and people that are selling things in the market. Reactions? Yeah, um, they were, were welcomed and they were happy we came to do such a project there, the campaign, because we reached um, quite a number of people and um, you know, both passerby were happy to see us and they also made a pledge to do something about it. How was it in general? Uh, it was interesting and it was good because uh, we were able to reach a number of people and um, we made uh, them make some pledges and they plan to change some things about the way they do with plastic and if they can reduce. They changed um, about their approach to plastic because some of them were ignorant about plastic and they knew some things new about how to use plastic um, to reduce and to reuse it generally. What do you think street campaigning is important? Yeah, I believe street campaign is important because um, you'll be able to reach a uh, more number of people doing street campaign directly and indirectly compared to doing um, um, a non formal education in classes uh, generally. Um, plastic is not fantastic. This is the title of our campaign in Poland. Uh, we made it in a small village in Rajcza. Um, we wanted to inform local people about plastic use and encourage them to use textile bags instead of uh, plastic ones. Um, we wanted also to inform them about possibilities of recycling plastics. We decided to do our campaign during the, one of the biggest events in the town. Uh, our project was promoted in local media, being over 200 people and the reaction were actually really, really nice, really positive because they wanted to uh, take part in uh, some kind of uh, skills um, about uh, recycling and this, all this eco stuff. I think that there is a big possibility that people actually changed uh, because uh, we showed all this problem uh, in a very attractive way so they could have fun uh, while they were actually studying about recycling and this kind of problem. The street campaigning uh, is important uh, because people can take part in uh, practical skills and they can learn at the same time.
seja bonito na decoração, o açúcar que lá contém, que não é nada bonito para a nossa saúde. Pois que me ha gustado muito, me ha parecido muito interessante, uma obra maestra, e sobre todo para concienciar as pessoas pues, de, de que reciclem, que não tiremos, porque a natureza, pois, só temos isto, por, por o açúcar, por, logo, por a sal, por todo, porque faz que suba a tensão e a gente pues, le dê le dê lipotimias e também le dê também ictus e claro, se temos um ambiente muito mais puro e mais sano, pues, a gente rozará de uma boa saúde, muito melhor. I, I personally don't drink fizzy drinks anyway. Yeah, it was not last year, it was last year. It was clear teeth from there as well, so. I, I don't drink, I just drink. What's it like, really? So, I'm, I'm fully aware of that as well. And the litter as well, it's just obviously not good. Well, I was, well, recycling is definitely a big thing, first of all. Is that why you did it? To, like, stop the waste of... It's good that you've made something positive, though, I think yeah. people would think that it was a good thing because all the images are so bright, whereas... Maybe you need like, to have some facts about the exhibition so that you knew why you were doing it. Yeah, yeah. I
După ce am ajuns acasă, eu și Tavi ne-am hotărât să facem două campanii în loc de una pentru a fi mult mai productiv, pentru a împrăștea mesajul la mult mai multe lume. Prima dată am mers la Chiuiești și cu copiii de acolo am ajuns la ideea că o să mergem pe viață sustenabilă și pe cum să ai grijă de propriile resurse. Ei au foarte mari probleme cu apa din fântâni, pentru că mulți dintre ei au acasă fântâni și folosesc acea apă, așa că nu trebuie să plătească pentru apă. Pentru ei e ceva de genul, dacă nu trebuie să plătesc pentru ea, nu trebuie să am grijă de ea. Noi am vrut să schimbăm asta. Am reușit cu copiii cu care am făcut workshop-uri și lucruri de genul. Nu știm dacă ne-am atins foarte bine targetul în ce privește adulții, dar cel puțin copiii le reamintesc părinților acasă zi de zi că e important să salvăm apa chiar dacă nu o plătim. În Dej, situația a fost puțin altfel, deși am abordat cam aceeași temă. Deci, fiind un oraș destul de mare, toată lumea are acces la canalizare și la apă. Dar am mers totuși pe importanța resurselor, pe importanța păstrării unui mediu curat. De ce am făcut asta? Pentru că, până la urmă, e mediul care ne înconjoară și trebuie să avem grijă de el ca să putem să trăim mulți ani. E să vorbesc despre reacții. Noi am avut două tipuri de reacții, pozitive și negative. Cel puțin persoanele mai în vârstă n-au reacționat așa cum ne așteptam noi, au fost mult mai indiferente, lucru care ne-a dezamăgit puțin. Ne-a făcut să ne întrebăm dacă chiar merită să depunem tot efortul pe care l-am depus, dar, în schimb, cei tineri, cei cu care am făcut workshop-urile, au fost niște îngerași. Ne-au ajutat de fiecare dată, ne-au susținut și ne-au făcut să mergem mai departe. Ei au fost cei care ne-au ajutat să mergem din nou și din nou. Să facem până la urmă campania asta până la capăt, fiindcă o facem pentru ei, pentru cei tineri, până la urmă. În primul rând, cred că și-au schimbat uh, mentalitatea, ideea pe care o aveau despre viață și despre importanța apei, chiar dacă plătesc sau nu pentru ea. Cred că am reușit să schimbăm prin campania asta modul în care ei privesc impactul pe care îl au față de, față de natură. Și asta cred că e cel mai important lucru. Prima dată ca persoanele să devină conștiente de puterea pe care o au și după care să o pună în practică și să îi ajute pe ceilalți să înțeleagă la rândul lor și bineînțeles să continue cu bunele practici pe care le-au avut din cauza campaniei este. Eu cred că campaniile stradale sunt importante pentru că e cel mai ușor mod de a transmite informația persoanelor. E, uh, și cel mai amuzant mod prin care o putem face noi, cei care vrem să schimbăm lumea, să intrăm în contact cu alte persoane, cu persoane tinere sau cu persoane mai în vârstă, să le arătăm că putem să schimbăm lumea asta într-un mod frumos, uh, plin de energie și cu multe joculețe. Uh, we choose the topic of plastic waste, uh, so you are educating people uh, to reduce, uh, reuse, and recycle plastic waste. So, as we know that plastic uh, have effect to the environment, and when environment is affected directly, we come to be affected as. So we did our campaign in July at the market. There you found uh, more than 2,000 people and we went there to talk with people regarding the importance of keeping the environment clean, that's for their benefits. The campaign was good, uh, we started with uh, identify, identifying volunteers to join us to add effort and to, to, to do a campaign. We trained them uh, our objective and our topic, so after that we discussed with them how we are going to do and to even to choose the main areas, like five market. After identifying those market, uh, we started to visit the areas uh, if the, it is uh, good for us to do our campaign and to see those people who are there and which time you can find most people there so after uh, getting the permission from the readers of the market uh, we start preparation and we do our campaign so we have almost 47 volunteers that who come from other organizations and other groups of, of, of youth other school who were designed in different group like uh, someone for attraction, communicators, uh, we have uh, thumb for posters. So the, uh, the reaction we got both uh, positive and negative. Uh, other people are saying that our, we are doing good and they know that the environment is still contaminated. In our country, uh, in 
especially in the city that even you are, you are walking on the street you find everywhere you can see plastic baggy at, at every place other people they reacting it's negative uh, especially those who are doing business maybe selling the plastic bags so if you are telling him to, to stop doing that this you hate your smart card and other who don't want to hear us what you are doing but in general we get uh, positive reaction we, we think uh, most of people uh, they will change uh, but we are sure uh, if it's not in, in short time but in long run change will be there because uh, if this campaign will be keep uh, done by other organizations and they hear the same thing they will change so we are sure people they are changing but yes street campaign is very important because that uh, give us opportunity to physically interact with people to talk with people directly uh, maybe someone can read the poster but maybe have questions but uh, no one to ask you but when we go to street we are talking with them so street campaign is good because it gives us interaction with people Nous, on a choisi euh, le terme euh, réduit, euh, réutilisé et recyclé plastique. Euh, parce que, on a utilisé ce terme parce qu'au Togo, il y a beaucoup de plastique euh, dans les rues et, et les gens ne. ne, ne ne les mettre pas dans les poubelles quoi donc euh, on a on a utilisé ce terme pour leur sensibiliser de, de réduire et de, pour pouvoir améliorer la situation de notre pays donc c'est pour ça qu'on a choisi ce thème puis on l'a fait dans les marchés dans un marché près de nous et le marché s'appelle Assier et il y a beaucoup de monde là bas donc euh, comme on a vu qu'il y, qu y aura beaucoup de monde là-bas, donc c'est pourquoi on a choisi le marché. Et heureusement, on a atteint notre objectif et on a atteint beaucoup de personnes comme 1000 personnes. On a sensibilisé presque 1000 personnes. Et hum, je peux dire que euh, à partir de là, on peut changer le monde parce que euh, presque 1000 personnes, je ne sais pas comment dire. Euh, on presque comprend ce que nous voulons dire, ce que ça veut dire de réduire le plastique parce qu'ils savent que le pla les plastiques ne sont pas bien pour le monde et ça nous détruit. Donc je crois qu'on a atteint notre objectif. En général, euh, la sensibilisation a été bien et je crois que tout le monde a joué son rôle. Et moi particulièrement, j'ai joué le rôle de... Euh, communicateur, donc euh, j'ai presque atteint tout le monde qui passe et même s'ils n'ont pas le temps, je les convainc d'avoir un petit temps pour moi et je leur parle un peu, un peu et ils comprennent. Au, euh, au premier abord, parfois ils se disent non, 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 je ne veux pas, je ne veux pas parler, j'ai pas le temps, non, 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 je ne sais pas ce que ça veut dire, les plastiques, c'est pas mon, mon, mon problème, mais quand je leur j'arrive à le parler doucement, doucement, il arrive à comprendre et il comprend ce qu'est ce qu le problème. L'importance de, de la sensibilisation était d'arriver à convaincre tout le monde de, du problème qu'on a au Togo, le problème du plastique, parce que toute chose qu'on utilise c'est en plastique et j'espère et je suis sûre qu'un jour on va arriver à résoudre ça. Merci.
Street campaign is the big platform for the changes in any society. It is good because it really draws attention. If you are using the good type, the correct type of methodology, you can reach a lot of people. It represents a way of being closer to the people and it makes it easier to discuss with them and to, to make them realize the importance of the topic. It's um, an opportunity to reach a larger number of people. When people hear something, there is a tendency for them to forget it. Street campaigning works with this principle. If I hear, I forget. If I'm involved, I remember. If I discover, I never forget. A street campaign involves a lot of creativity and its impact usually depends on this. So as creative as you'll be, the more successful you might be. The method of somehow acting within the local community seemed as a natural thing, but at the same time very interesting. You can uh, talk with people um, of different backgrounds and different ages. So I think it's a really good tool to transmit the global issues. We managed to do two campaigns. One was last summer in Raicha and the other one was in February in Warsaw. We wanted to make people aware that it's not necessary to use so much plastic. The plastic bags can be replaced by the textile bags. Uh, the people have the power to decrease the plastic use. We managed to do three campaigns. Uh, we hoped that after these campaigns our town's recycling process would improve and people would be more aware and become better citizens from this point of view. We are sure that we planted the seed and that we managed to create an awareness on issues such as the excess of waste, like consumerism and also to promote the healthy lifestyles in order to have less impact on the environment but also to improve their quality of life. We had two campaigns. The first one we were uh, campaigning against using a lot of plastic. In our second campaign it was the wasteful consumption. Why we are consuming so much and so needless. Using street campaigning to bring about change in attitudes concerning the global issues we are confronted with in our various countries and so we chose as our theme making Ghana clean again. The campaign we did is what about the most common things that happen in our country and it's uh, plastic use. Either reduce or we use the plastic they have they had before and also if they could recycle because there's a few number of companies that do recycling in Nigeria to raise awareness about negative effects of using plastic and waste of water and electricity. Altogether we reached around 500 people. Like the reactions either in Raicha or in Warsaw, they were positive and people wanted to get more. Around 700 people from QH and from there. People seem to be very into this. Uh, we reached more than 2,000 people. They are like, this is a very good thing and we don't supposed to stop it. We're supposed to do it even more and more and the approach was good for them. They like it. Whom we reached and we talked to, it was about 700 people. Also, we have to take into consideration that these people are going to talk about it with their families and friends, that they saw something. We could reach around uh, 1,500 people. The reaction, it was uh, really, really good. People were really interested in knowing what we were trying to transmit. We reach around 3,000 people as being a directly beneficiary. And as indirect beneficiary, we reach around uh, 10,000. They were impressed and mot uh, motivated to change their behavior. The families of those of us who were involved, the friends, those who were passing by watching, asking questions, 
Uh, those who have seen the TV interviews that were telecast after the first campaign, I believe if you put all of these together, we can be talking about more than 3,000 indirect beneficiaries to this project. It was good for them to participate and some of them felt, okay, everybody's job now to do something about this plastic waste. And some of them felt they would from now on begin to do something about the consumption of their plastic. We also have a part to play in this environmental issue. The volunteers that we worked with during the campaign started to learn how to cooperate, working on a common goal. They saw that they are starting to work as a team and that they are learning how to communicate and how to implement their decisions uh, in the action. The volunteers uh, gained a better understanding on uh, global issues and the way they can contribute to solve them. I believe we triggered the spark. They went deeply into topic because they, they have received the methodology. The, in our company we are willing to go on and campaign for global issues. And we broaden our horizons, we broaden our partnerships. We engage the public in various activities and from the feedback we get, street campaigning makes a huge impact and enable people to make a shift which otherwise wouldn't be possible if they were just told what they should be doing or what they should be changing. The impact on the local community, it's make them to change their behavior. After our campaign, they make a meeting with the community and they choose one day, like the first Saturday of every month as clean day. So that day they will clean their com community. We also learn more about the project management and intercontinental cooperation and we learn many met methods and especially the communication skills, how to talk with people, how to deal with their, uh, their responses. But it's not easy to measure in the short term the, the impact that we had on the community, but uh, for sure we have left uh, them thinking about their own actions. They see the good example of active work, they can maybe get inspired and do something similar and then get involved, get engaged. I hope we can do more in the future and never stop protecting the planet. I would like to thank Jose uh, and Andrea for having us in every place that the project took part. So it was Tanzania, Togo, Romania and now here Madeira. Uh, we are very thankful that we could learn, uh, that we could share um, and basically that we had a great experience again. Regarding the project, this was really, really a, a, a perfect experience uh, for me and for the volunteers who participated because it was an intercontinental project. So practically we got to know not only the European way of thinking but uh, we also could see uh, on one of our training which was in Togo uh, how people live there, what do they do there. We could uh, get in touch with a completely different way of thinking than the ones that we are used to. So it was a big experience and uh, it was something new that, uh, that came into our lives. The Street Campaign is very useful and for, as for that, I wish this thing could not be the last time. I wish it could be the continuation and to have more campaigns on different topics and different projects so that can reach many people and have a very huge impact. Okay, we are All starting now. Okay, let me make comfortable. To the camera. To we the camera. To the camera. <laughs> oh. To the camera. Yeah. yeah, to the camera. Not to get lost to outside. Yeah. I don't have any plant, okay? Did whatever. <laughs> <laughs>
Can you cut this when I talk? Everybody! Sorry. Mm. So, Is it okay or...? Uh, <laughs> if you want to uh, And I say, oh God. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Why, why? Why this? So, I'm here in my head. It would very good. If everybody were like you, it would be so easy. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. I don't remember everything. Because it was an intercon intercultural... In no, in not intercultural. What was it? Inter... Mm, international. Not international. Um, inter intercultural... Um, <laughs> Uh, it's not intercultural, it's intercontinental. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. De nada. What do you want more, Antonio? <laughs>